Oh yes indeed, all this food talk is definitely making me hungry, so it's time we whip up something in the kitchen right now. So, get ready, it's Chef Clem's luxurious creamy tuna bake. Oh yes please, now this tasty recipe pairs tuna and penne pasta with a decadent multi cheese sauce and for that extra pizzazz, Chef Clem has added a swirl of sun-dried tomato Pesto. Nice stuff. Chef Clem, how are you doing this morning? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm fantastic, man. I'm, I'm ready for this because for all my life as a youngster mm -hmm. trying to build muscle, I would just literally eat tuna out of a can. So Absolutely. You're, you're definitely going to maybe help me inspire uh, the tradition of building muscle with something a lot more tasty, I hope. Because it's got, the, sure. it's got the carbs in there, it's got the protein in yeah, there. Yeah, the macros are so there, man. The macros are there. I'm happy to hear that. Okay, so what I've got in the pot is some butter and some flour, and I've just brought that to a bubble. And before I added the milk, I made sure I could smell it. You brought the, the butter and the flour to a bubble. Right. Okay. Right. All right. Okay. Melt your butter, add your flour, mix it through. You'll okay. see that if you do it that way, no lumps. Oh. Then you, you, you want to smell something nutty before you start adding the milk. That way you know you cook the floweriness out of your out of your roux. Because sometimes when you make a white sauce and you don't cook that floweriness out, you end up eating it and you're like, yeah, what's that like powdery powder texture? Bombs. Yeah, you don't want that. <laughs> okay, so you can see as soon as you start adding the milk, you get it's gonna start thickening up. So you gotta keep on adding your milk, yeah. give it a whisk, and it's gonna come together as a beautiful white sauce. And then you want that to simmer before you start adding the cheese. Okay. So I put this dish together and I think I've used five items from the daily difference. Okay. Because and it was not hard. Yeah. It was so easy. Okay, so I've gone for the milk, gone for the pasta. Gone for the cheese, gone for the tuna. There's something else I am forgetting. Is it this? No, let's see. I know it's there. Let's, let's look at the thing. Okay. I've got the cheese. Yeah. What? The butter. The yeah. butter. Uh, okay, of course. Did you just butter, melt it in? Uh, there we go. It's butter, cheese, the milk, and like I mentioned the other ones as well. But these deals are so amazing and they, these are the Black Friday deals, okay? And I get very excited because if I look at the one that says there, the ice creams are two for one thirty. Oh, uh, yes, no one's going to be complaining about that. <laughs> you know that the Chuckles ice cream has been getting so much exposure, right? And people I know. are going crazy about it. I know. It's, it's, chuckles it's, everything. It's taking over. Honestly, I think everybody's going to be dining into that at some sort of family function over the festive because it's, it's honestly like on the top of everyone's list. Everyone's talking about it. It's so good. <laughs> okay, cool. So we're going to start adding our cheese. Now, the thing about the cheese is when you're adding cheese to a cheese sauce, you want to add it gradually. You don't want to add it all. Okay. What happens is if you add everything all at once, you end up with one big cheese ball, which sounds like delicious. It sounds good, yeah. It's not, but it's not what you want <laughs> for your sauce. So gradually add that. And well, the goal I'll, is to evenly melt the cheese in this right now. Right, right? That's, that's the goal. Okay. I love this recipe because of the fact that, like I said, tuna. It's, so like, it's one of the most inexpensive proteins we get. And mm. it, the can that you have in your cupboard will just, just be there. <laughs> it lasts forever. <laughs> exactly. You need to get creative with it. This is an amazing one. Especially now when like, it's the, the end of exams. Things are like, starting to slow down, but if you're like, still in office, it's not. It's still yeah, busy. It's still but the kids want their dinner. Like everybody's gotta get fed. This is an amazing dish. I always make extra because I don't know something about tuna, uh, tuna pasta bake. It tastes better the next day. It does, but it keeps like lasting forever. I mean, even like a small dish like you have there can serve quite a big family. I mean, it's it's full of flavor. It's rich. It's dense. So you don't have to have that much to kind of get a full meal in, right? No, not at all. So this with a big salad, you happy? Everyone's yeah, happy. Yeah, that's a family okay, meal. So right they've here. already opened up the tuna for me, which okay. is really nice. Also, the tuna comes with the ring. No tin openers. Yo, the we tin opener pays. I do not miss that. We don't do that. Okay, so <laughs> spring onions go in, salt and pepper. Now the tuna goes in. You gonna pass right, me those cans? Tuna for you, sir. There we go. Thank you. Number thank one, you. Number two and number three. Perfect. Oh, I see we got a guest on the side, and it's it's amazing. You want to come in? Do you want to come into the kitchen? Hey, it's Eddie. So so <laughs> why why stop tradition? Because the last time we uh, I made you a. Eh? What did you make? Wow! Yeah. Was it, was it such remember. a standout? Uh, you... The burger, yeah! <laughs> it's okay, you can just leave. No, I'm just joking, I'm just joking. Okay, okay. How was, okay, now, can you remember how the burger tasted, though, at least? It was, your yeah, it was amazing. And it, I think your whole family got a burger. Everybody got a burger, yeah. right? <laughs> Thanks, Jay. We, I did it, though. I had to watch them enjoy it, though, but I'm not complaining. We it's feed well our we guests. We were eating so nice, the plate fell. Wow! And they were like, <laughs> Yes, okay, that's a good, I, I, I'm happy about that. Okay, cool, so, do you, do you like tuna? Yes, I love tuna. And you like pasta? Yes, okay. I love. 
Pasta. You're gonna you're gonna love this one. Can you just turn this one off for me quickly? Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add your cooked pasta to your tuna mix. Again, I honestly say when you make this one, make a double batch because it like people go crazy for it. It tastes so good. In we go with. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Can you see some of the melted cheese strands? And you need to get that extra cheese in there. Oh, oh put that down. Yes. Then we're gonna get our tomato pesto, okay? It just there's something about the acidity in the tomato pesto that just goes. Just by the way, look how excited that is getting. It's like it's like Christmas out here. <laughs> it's this one is really good. I promise you're gonna enjoy it. Okay, tomato pesto, and you wanna swirl it through. Don't worry, South Africa, we haven't forgotten. Ralph City will still show you how he swirls his hair live on TV before <laughs> the end of the year. <laughs> before the end of the year, right? <laughs> okay. Remember that. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna swirl your pesto through. So you don't want like big dollops of it. You just wanna get like hints of it every now and then. We're not done. Cheese. Gotta have oh, cheese. Yes, please. More okay? cheese. Bring it. More cheese and then breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs are amazing because everything's quite soft in your dish. Okay. And when we cook, we want to think about texture as well. So the texture comes through with these breadcrumbs. They get super toasty, super crispy. Nice. It goes into the oven. Ooh. Things are going to start smelling so, so amazing. It is so delicious. Done. Okay, like I said, make more than just this, okay? Because yeah. your family's going to love it. They're going to want to have it tomorrow as well. And maybe even the next day. Yeah. And the next day. Okay, so. <laughs> You're in the kitchen. You're gonna try that one over there for us. Ooh, okay, go for it. Go for it. Look how excited she looks. <laughs> <laughs> take the whole thing, you and guys. when you're done tasting, because of COVID regulations, you can take the whole dish off. It's okay. all hers, guys. Nice. While you're tucking into that, of course, I'm making you space can get for you. The recipe inspiration at expressoshow.com. It's the perfect meal for you right now and tomorrow and the next day. It's gonna last forever. And like Chef Clem says, it tastes better and better and better <laughs> the more you dig into it, of course. And it's gonna serve the entire family. This with the pasta. And you can feed up to four to six, I don't know how many, but it's really gonna be good. And clearly by the smell on Annie's face, I'm gonna it's be, definitely I'm gonna, gonna, gonna give you a small piece now, but like you, you've got all of it later. Okay, I'm gonna okay. stand this side. Okay, let's let's try this. Let's see if it's better than the burger. Let's go. Uh, Let's go. <laughs> That crunch. Is it good? Is the it good? Crunch. I love the bread crumbs crunch. Okay, I like it. My Afrikaans is really bad, so I can never explain a dish in Afrikaans. Can you <laughs> describe this dish in Afrikaans? Yeah, for G as well. <laughs> for, uh, for G. Okay, describe in Afrikaans. Go. You're asking the wrong person. Don't look, okay, look, go, go. Okay, the pasta is bye bye nice. Bye nice. Um, bread crab. You see, you see, they are trying to eat me. <laughs> like, of all this, is amazing, guys. Wow. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, you have it, Abzanzi, of course. Get the recipe at expressoshow.com while we tuck into this. Don't go anywhere. More performances, more magic coming right at you in just a bit. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Thank you.